So I'm here with Brenda Reeser at the Wellman Skating Rink here in Wellman, Iowa. How are you doing? Great. How are you? Good. Good. All right. So the skating rink, something you don't hear a lot about anymore. Roller rinks kind of died out in like the late 80s, early 90s, it sounds like. How did Wellman keep one or get one? Um, well, it's been in the community since 1950s. Um, it was privately owned by a group of gentlemen uh, before the city took it over. Um, I don't really know a whole lot of history about it, but I do know it's been in the community since the 50s. Um, the city has owned it since the early 2000s. Okay, and so what's your role with the city then? I'm the recreations manager. Okay, and so the city owns the skating rink. How did the city get involved in owning a skating rink? Um, from what I've been told, the city has always owned the land that the building was on. And when the gentleman that owned it had gotten older and passed away, then it needed to go somewhere. And I was told that it was then turned over or purchased by the city. So you're only open three days a week. So is that made it tricky to do things like, I mean, does it break even? You know, a lot of cities hear about pools and stuff, how they don't break even. Does this place manage to pay for itself? Um, we're working on that. Um, obviously, the more we get it, people in here and people know who we are, things will get better. But yeah, we're working on that. Now, I was looking online, and obviously you guys serve food. Yes. And how do you get a lot of people come in for the food? And we do. The concession does stay pretty busy. Um, we do just cook with air fryers and pizza ovens, so it does take some time at points when people are ordering it all at once. Um, but things are going pretty good in that area. And so, if I'm not mistaken, I looked online, and you can buy skates here. We have. Uh, we go through a wholesale company that uh, we can purchase them through. Okay, through so yes. then there are people that can bring their own skates in. Yes. And, and that's fantastic. Yes. And so can you sell them other places too? Like, like if I'm here today, I'm like, oh, I'm going to buy me a pair of roller skates. I don't have to buy them and use them here. I could buy them and go somewhere else. I, that would be pure policy of the skate rink. How, I mean, yeah, you can take your skates somewhere else, but I don't know if all the skating rinks allow people to bring right. them in kind of thing. <laughs> and so tell me about the, the rink itself. Like the coolest thing here looks like this operational limbo bar. Tell yes. me how that came to be or what, why it's the way it is. Was um, it here always? It was uh, put together by the previous some previous owners um, that had owned like a fiberglass shop or something and they constructed that put that together and put it up there that's pretty much all I know about the history of it other than it's pretty cool um, but yeah it's, as far as I know one of its kind <laughs> so what's the coolest thing about the Wellman skating rink that we should be aware of um just that it is a unique thing um, there's only five skating rinks that I know of in Iowa so it is unique and uh, fun for all ages, you'd be surprised. I was gonna say, do you have a lot of ages come through and that aren't just kids? Yes, we have you know little toddlers that we have skates for, and then I have an older woman that drives from Fairfield twice a week um, in her 80s that comes and skates, so that's a wide, cool. wide range. So where can people find out more information about Wellman Skating Rink? Um, on cityofwellman.com, under the Skating Rink tab. Um, you can also go to our Facebook group, which is Wellman Skating Rink. Um, I post frequently there, keep you updated, and the calendar is listed on the City of Wellman page. I think I need a size 6. Alright, be right back. Woohoo! There you are. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I think you're a little. It wasn't hard. <laughs> I think you're a little stiff like it for. Well, don't I you got? Little... Don't you got to bend at the knees? Yeah, if I do that, I'm gonna fall right down. Or not. There you go. I think you know if you don't put your skates on, then we're more the same height. Well, and I can move just as fast too. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna just see a bunch of jerky arm movements if I try to go faster. Though. Try. No. <laughs> Go ahead, try. I don't think I can faster, do faster, faster! I the roller derby. Go, go, go! Yeah, they probably don't do that here. This would be a really good workout. My legs are already sore. You haven't even made it around once yet. I know, that's what I'm saying. Kids at the birthday party are gonna be like, who's the old lady out there right, trying to escape? That old woman at my birthday party. <laughs> that's not my grandma. Is 
staffing issue? Is it a popularity issue? What's the reason? I think that if we were open more, it wouldn't be cost effective. Um, we, on our Wednesday afternoons that we open for like after school, it averages about 25 to 30 people um, on those days, which is better than no people, but I just don't know if it would be cost effective at this point to be open for five days. Is there, are there times you're closed or are you open three days a week pretty much year round, makes it maybe like holidays? Saturdays and Sundays um, are from September to um, the end of May. And then I take the weekends off in the summertime. So, um, so Saturdays and Sundays are consistent for those nine months. And then we are open to Mid Prairie's early out schedule for the school. So anytime that they have early out days, we are open on those Wednesday afternoons. Um, I am open on one Friday a month for adult night. Okay. Um, that is a 21 and over event. Um, it is with BYOD. Uh, we just had that last night. It is a lot of fun. So that's once a month on a Friday. Uh, we tried a family skate recently, which was, you know, family style. Went over pretty well, and that was on a Friday night. So occasionally I'm open on Friday nights, but um, we do have private party bookings sometimes on Fridays, and generally full days on Saturdays and Sundays of private parties. Okay, and is it something you can do in the summertime, or is it 100% closed in the summer? During the summer, this year, for the first time, we are going to be open um, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 to 2, um, starting June the 6th and running till the end of July. So um, that we're going to see how that's going to go. Okay. I'm kind of excited about that. But can people still rent it for parties and stuff in that time frame? We're, we're kind of working on the party situation. Um, it's hard to not get a lot of overtime when you're trying to accommodate for a lot. So it's... Uh, something I'm still working on. I haven't figured it out yet for the summer on private parties. I'm here at the Wellman Skating Rink with the birthday girl. Happy birthday. Why do you want to come here and have your birthday party? You like to skate? I like to skate too. You know what? I found out I'm not as good as I was when I was your age. Are you going to have a lot of fun today? I think this is a really cool place. Do you think this is a fun place? Thank you so much for letting me come and talk to you. Happy birthday. So let's flash forward the next five years. What changes do you see or what do you see happening with this area? Um, I would like to see a little bit of an expansion on the building with gaining more popularity. Um, we're getting more people in. And like I said, the free states will sometimes pack the house and it can get a little uncomfortable in here. So I'd like to, you know, get us a little more area maybe have somewhere that we can keep food, um, like a food court style place um, to kind of try to keep this area a little bit cleaner. Skate wheels are impossible to keep clean. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I'm sure that's going to be a long time out, but that's just something I've been thinking a lot about. And so obviously people have a lot of fond memories of this. I'm sure there's a lot of people that came here with kids and now they're bringing their own kids and stuff here. So what, tell us what a normal day when it's open is like. Um, a lot of kids, um, families, a lot of people like to come and just sit and watch um, the people skate. It is pretty funny at times. Um, and we've averaged on a Saturday night about anywhere from 120 to 140 people in the building. Um, Sundays we've been running about 60 to 100. On We have free skate Sundays, the second Sunday of the month, and those have, we've maxed out the house, which would be 180 capacity. And uh, so there, things have been going pretty good. It takes me back to when I was about 10 because we had one and you know I always hated I love going skating like we always had birthday parties there but I was so bad at it because we only did it like once a year. I love skating and this takes me back to my Xanadu days but I think that's a little before your time. <laughs> yeah just a smidge. You know but I mean skating when I was a kid was what everybody did. Every weekend we went skating there was skating rinks all around and now you can hardly find them so to find one here is just fantastic. 
Well, and the fact that not only did some people have the idea that we should make one of these and keep it, but the city stepping in and being like, this is an amenity that not only does not a lot of people have, but that we can operate. And maybe it's not a 24 seven thing like parks or like, you know, operational like the summer, like a swimming pool, but operational enough that it gives people a third or fourth or fifth option that they might not have. Well, and it's good exercise. I mean, if you don't have a track or you don't have a swimming pool, skating rink, you can go skating and you're working your legs, you're working your balance, you're working your core. I mean, it's fun. Well, it's not weather dependent for the most part either. So you can be inside, you can hang out with friends. It can be that community center, that gathering space that places don't have, but it's fun. It's something you can do. Everybody says, you know, we need stuff for kids and they just don't have it or it's parks and it's swing sets. It's more of the same. But this you can do. This is something you can let kids do. You don't have to be worried about them getting into trouble or anything. And parents can sit and talk and relax and stuff too. So it really works both ways and it's a community benefit. You don't see anybody in here without a smile on their face. Right. It's and just I, fun. And I think that's something that a lot of communities lack. That they want amenities, they want people to come, they want people to stay. But they don't have something that's new or different or even basic that made cities unique back then. Right. All right. Well, I think we're moving to Wellman just so we can go skating. There was a house for sale. <laughs>